All right. Shalom Rastafari. Shabbat Shalom. Sanbet Salam. This is uh, March uh, 29th, Friday. Actually, uh, the Shabbat Eve. Right? The Shabbat Eve. And um, in the West, uh, this is known as Good Friday. So we've been touching on the theme of Good Friday as well as this particular film right here, um, Color of the Cross. And then there is, the, I guess you would say, the part two, which is uh, The Resurrection, right? The Resurrection, a film by Jean Lamar, right? Jean Lamar, all right? And um, starring Jean Lamar, Jacinto Riddick, and some other brothers and sisters who really um, do a, a do a really good job of beginning to tell the story, all right? I mean, there's some harsh, um, could we say racist uh, critics out there, you know, who are just hating on it. And it's not because, hey, it's not no big blockbuster film, you understand, but at least a beginning to tell the truth, right, about the story of Yeshua and also some of the reasons for the crucifixion. As they say, the only good N-word is a what? Dead N-word. And that's why they try to keep him on the cross, you know what I mean, within their idolatries, right? We're not talking about the paintings and the pictures. We're talking about when they put Christ in the, in the Roman Catholic crucifix. And we're going to connect the, the whole 666 with that particular Im- imagery and idolatry that has even, unfortunately, crept in to Ethiopia and to our ancient Ethiopic church. But let's first of all touch on the theme of um, Good Friday, what is called and what is known as uh, Good Friday. What is it and what is it really? I mean, I mean, what is this whole Good Friday thing about? I mean, if we look at a calendar, and I mean, you, you don't really need a calendar. You can really count, right? Uh, Friday evening, right, after like three, you know, after three in the afternoon, say between three and sundown around six, right? That's not a day. You can't say Friday is a day, you know, because it says the sign of Jonah, right, the sign of Jonah, right, would be given to that generation. Now, so much has gone on to twist and distort and to misrepresent and misinterpret to keep ones basically hoodwinked, confused, bamboozled, and, and under the curse. So much has gone on, you know, to, to whitewash the images so that ones are, not, ones are seeing their story as if it were almost like upside down, inside out, and reverse, where they say black is white and white is black, right? And this, is, this film right here and this, uh, these two films right here basically shows us that Black is black, right? And that is all right with God and Christ. And, and that is, his, that is his, his, his humanity, right? And that explains so much about this insanity that the lost sheep or so-called Negro peoples have uh, suffered, um, mainly because of our own uh, ancestors and our own continued transgression. Because in spite of this truth going forward from so many witnesses to this truth, there's a lot of people who keep shaking their heads until the media, if the media says, yes, uh, Jesus Christ really was black, and yes, this is that, and so forth and so on, then people are like, oh, oh, you was right. Because they didn't search the scriptures. They didn't seek Right? They, didn't, they didn't seek to find the truth for themselves. They didn't check the information and the data that was coming to them. Instead, they looked at it, and they judged by their, their foolish feelings, their hoodwinked and bamboozled and mind-controlled feelings. Oh, I don't, you can't say, oh, that's a disrespect. You understand? Don't you know the only good N-word is a, so Good Friday is because according to them, right, our black Lord and Savior was crucified right, on that day, according to Roman Catholicism, Catholicism, then this, this goes to the daughters of Babylon, speaking about your Protestant churches, even though men them protest to calling that, it is what it is, not saying that all churches are, you see, there's some churches, some Christian churches that know that the Shabbat, right, that the Shabbat is the Good Friday, that Good Friday really is the Shabbat, that, that's the half of that story right there, that's the good 
side of that truth that has been suppressed. But as far as Yeshua HaMoshiach, Yeshua Christos, Jesus Christ being crucified on the Friday, there's no scriptural evidence if you search the scriptures. You see, Yeshua said to search the scriptures. He didn't say to Google it. He said search the scriptures. Right? You think you have life, but these are they which testify of me, Yeshua says, of, of he who be who he be, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is, this is the solution for black people's problem. It's not the white man problem. See, some folks will take this and say, oh, Jesus is black and white, and they get caught up on that right there. That's just a natural fact. That's why that's not the major part of that story in the Bible, although there's full testimony that the Hebrews, the so-called Jews of, of, of 70 A.D. and of Jesus' time, Yeshua's time, were of the race of the Ethiopians. Tacitus, the Roman historian, says so in his, I think, his, his histories, one of the volumes of his histories, and it's also testified in many other places Right, as well. Even in the Roman catacombs, catacombs, it's testified there. But they won't let you go down there anymore because too many of us have gotten on to this. And we say, oh, well, go to the Roman catacombs. And a lot of folks actually, you know, um, go to Rome. A lot of blacks, you know, think that that's uh, the eternal city. They believe that. Now, that story right there, this is not to condemn all Catholics. Let's just make this very clear. And it's not because we are afraid of the Catholic League, but because we know the truth about um, the Catholic Church and the true black saints going all the way back to the beginning. But see, what happened was a hostile takeover of the Catholic Church. There was a hostile takeover. And if you don't you know, don't believe me. Search it out for yourself. The same thing happened in, with jazz music. The same thing happened um, with uh, the blues and so-called so -called, uh, rock and roll music, so-called, right? The same thing is, is happening also with the hip-hop music. I mean, I mean who's, who's the best that a lot of folks basically say, oh, it's Eminem. It's Eminem. You know what I'm saying? So a hostile takeover, basically, when, when the Gentiles recognize, right, the color and the power of the cross, they basically had to reclaim, not reclaim, but they had to disclaim the true blackness, right? And as, as the Jesuits and the Pope and, 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 and the secret society say, um, black is white and white is black. That's why they tell you that white propaganda means good propaganda, and black propaganda means bad, bad, mean a lie, right? And then now they tell you the same ones, well, no white rice, no white flour, no white sugar, no white salt, um, no white bread, you know. And see, these are things that in the old, to the old Hebrews, had to be purged out. One had to purge these sort of things out. And now we know that these, according to the New Testament and the epistle, I think, of Corinthians, it basically says that, um, that Christ, our, our Passover, right, that Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed, right, is sacrificed for us. Right? It says, purge out therefore the old leaven, right? the old yeast, that ye may be a new lump, right? a new creature, as ye are unleavened. Right? If, we are, if we truly have received right, the grace of God in Christ, the, uh, the teaching of his majesty and the testimony of Jesus Christos, according to the word and the spirit of truth, then we are a new lump, a new creature, a new creation, right? And as, as such, we are unleavened. So we cast out all of the leaven, right? For even Christos or Moshiach, black Messiah, right? Who, the, who was it? CIA, FBI, secret societies with the COINTELPRO thing, with the Antichrist conspiracy, and y'all still don't get it. You still don't get oh, why they keep lynching us. Why they keep the news. Why, they, why, why, why? Because you don't want to hear, right? You don't want to hear. You don't want to receive, right? You, you don't want to receive the truth. You don't have a love of the truth. You have itching ears for folks to tell you about, the Lord going to give you a new car. He's going to pay your mortgage. 
You know what I'm saying? So the Lord become like your, what, biatch or something? And, and this is really, this is just keeping it real. But the, the true Lord, Adonai Yeshua, right? Christos, the Moshia, our Fasika, Fasikachin, Lenya Tardualina has been sacrificed for us. Now, if you read on here, we're in First uh, Corinthians five and First um, Corinthians five and uh, uh, verse seven, and about to move to verse eight, right? So we're going to do this in, 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 in some short segments, you know, for time. It, this will be a short segment right here, and um, let's just touch on the next verse, and we'll go into more detail. We'll get into some more on. Uh, on uh, Good Friday, the, the re- what day was Christ, right, our Messiah, right? What day was he really, right, um, sacrificed on or crucified on? We know it wasn't a Friday 